Okay, it's Sunday night, and this is the last night of the Snap Challenge. I'm completely finished. I've consumed the last calorie of the day. I'm done with dinner. I'm done with lunch. I'm done with breakfast. I couldn't be happier about it. I am ready to go back to my normal diet um, tomorrow. So just a little bit about today. I was a little tired today. I never um, really felt too hungry. I ate all my meals rather late in the day. I, I went to bed pretty late last night, woke up late for me, around 8.30 or so in the morning, and uh, I, I had kind of a late breakfast. Usually I'm eating breakfast between 6 and 7, so this morning I ate between 8.30, 9 o'clock, and I had a late lunch because of the late breakfast, so I ate lunch around 1 or 2, then I ate dinner around 6 or so, so there was really no time for me, I guess, to, to feel generally hungry. I always seemed to have food in my mouth, and and it wasn't it wasn't too terrible today, but but I was tired. I think that's due to lack of nutrients. I just think it's catching up to me. Uh, seven days in a row of very poor diet is uh, is definitely accumulating right now. So I'm tired. I have been tired over the last few days. Um, I felt really agitated the last couple of days. I never really. I think maybe once I, I've mentioned it in the video blog, but I really felt it today. Just kind of on edge. I think that. Um, I'm going to go on my soapbox here for a second. I think that's uh, attributing to to one of the many factors that that I'm going to put into a report that, that I'm going to type up. Uh, it should be out sometime uh, next week, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, sometime in there. But the agitation factor, I think, contributes quite a bit to anger problems, which could be uh, attributed to domestic violence. It could be attributed to... Uh, poor employment records, you can be getting in arguments with your co-employees or your boss. Uh, the health concerns are through the roof. I think this is the main reason why we have people in the emergency rooms for heart catheterizations and, and high blood pressure and diabetes. I think it, it mostly comes down to diet. I think almost all of these issues are diet related and they're due to poor diet, which could be due to low budget diet, which comes down to high sodium, high carbohydrates, high sugar, not enough proteins, not enough vitamins, not enough good things and too many bad things. So once again, that, that'll be uh, out sometime later in the week. I've already kind of started typing it. I, I don't want to get too far into it until tomorrow morning after I've taken my blood pressure again and I've weighed myself to get a final analysis on exactly what this has done to me um, uh, physically. Uh, so anyhow, so that's my analysis on the day. I know I only had three meals to get through. Uh, I knew I could smoke through it, no problem. I've been doing it for six days, so the seventh day wasn't wasn't really a problem. I've been focusing more on what I'm going to put into this report and and how I'm going to distribute it. I'm going to try and get it to uh, the press. I'm going to try and get it to politicians. I'm going to try and get it into as many hands as possible, shelters, food banks, all these places, and uh, I, I think that I'm one of the few people that, that has enough statistical data and, and true analysis to really make a report like this. It seems like everybody else that has done the SNAP Challenge has kind of done it and not really talked much about it or collected enough data, but I think through the blog, through all my nutritional content, through the cost breakdowns, through all that stuff, I can devise um, an accurate assessment on what's wrong with this diet, how these people are feeling, why they're feeling it that way, and uh, hopefully something can be done about it. I, I, don't, I don't know what the answer is, but I, I've definitely found a problem. So uh, hopefully smarter people than me can work on the solution and uh, see what we can do about it. But, but I think this is a growing epidemic in this country. There's 47 million Americans that are SNAP recipients as of right now. That's one out of every about seven people. So think of your, your six closest friends, and one of them probably is getting some sort of food stamp um, or, or some sort of help anyhow uh, with, with getting their groceries. So just think about that. These people aren't, they're, they're not out in the distance. They're not far away from you. These, these are people you know. I'm sure you probably know at least one person that's getting SNAP recipients that need it. Um, so the lack of sympathy, you need to throw that out the door because these people are hungry, they're tired, they, they're agitated, they're, they're unhealthy as of right now, and we need to try and fix that. This is a growing problem in this country. And I know I only did this for a week, and, and I could probably do it for longer, but um, I, I hope that I've created a conversation. I hope that enough people are talking about it. I hope enough people are going to do something about it, and that this wasn't all done in vain. So uh, thank you guys for following. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tweeting and 
commenting on Facebook and everything that you guys have done, reading about it in the paper. It's been uh, it's been a fun journey, believe it or not, even, even though it's been hectic and stressful and I've been hungry and all that uh, and I've gotten an hypertension and I've been unhealthy. And it, it has been kind of fun uh, to talk about and it's been a great conversation starter. And I need the people that I started the conversation with to carry that on. I need them to pay it forward and, and to to continue the conversation with their friends and family and just the people that, that don't know about this. This this is a huge problem. So uh, look out next week. I'll, I'll post the report. I'll probably do another video blog uh, just of that. This will be my last daily video blog. But um, I want to make sure that this report gets in uh, enough hands because I think it's important stuff. But once again, thank you guys for watching and tuning in. And um, maybe we'll do it again. All right. Thank you.